today we have a lower body workout for you. You will need a chair or if you have like a low uh, coffee table or even a step, and then you need one dumbbell. Um, also, I'll be doing some modifications, so if you're pregnant or a beginner, you can go ahead and follow me on those. So remember, if you're pregnant and you're new to working out, to get it approved by your provider first. If anything hurts or is uncomfortable, um, definitely back off and don't do it. Um, also, whose butt is still sore from Wednesday to work out? <laughs> is it just mine? Um, other than that, um, grab yourself some water and let's work out together. Okay, make sure that you have that chair or a table nearby. There will be five exercises in a row, each one for 40 seconds with a 20 second rest, and we will repeat it for three rounds. First exercise is a step up. If you wanna make it harder, you can hold one weight on your chest. Otherwise, you can just use your body weight. Grab one dumbbell, we're gonna have our legs out nice and wide. You're just gonna sit to one side. Make sure that you sit down on that right side while you keep your left leg nice and straight. You should feel a stretch on your inner thigh. Same thing here, we're just gonna switch sides, so go ahead and switch your hands with the dumbbell, then you're gonna sit down on that side. Remember, you wanna feel a nice big stretch on your inner thigh. Set that dumbbell to the side, go ahead and come down onto the floor. You're going to be on your elbow, so make sure your elbow is right underneath your shoulder. Dip that hip down and then you're twisting. If you need to, you can drop your bottom knee down to make it a little bit easier. it up this is the last exercise of this round you are going to just switch to that other side make sure you get that hip as low to the ground as you can and twist
grab a quick drink of water and grab your step or your chair again and we are heading back to step ups two more rounds of everything
Great job, circuit one is now complete. We are going to move on to circuit two. Five different exercises, each one you'll be doing for 40 seconds with that 20 second rest. We will repeat them all three times. Grab your chair or even if you're by your step or your coffee table, place one leg up. Now the other leg goes straight in the air. You're lifting, lowering your butt off the ground. If you need to modify, you can see Miranda is just crossing one leg over and lifting and lowering her hip off the ground. Good job, let's switch sides now. Get that hip as high off the ground as you can, really squeezing your glute and your hamstring. Be sure whatever you're going to grab onto is nice and stable. You can put a dumbbell down and we are going to hop side to side. Now if you can't jump with two feet, you can step over like Miranda is. Keep that core tight and keep your butt down. Depending on your level of difficulty, you can put a dumbbell on your chest or you can just do your body weight. We're going to be on our knees, then you put one foot out in front of the other, staying into a squat and back down. Remember, don't come all the way up, keep that squat so you keep those legs nice and tense. Last exercise of this round, legs can be up in the air. You're doing a reverse crunch, lifting with your lower abdomen. Now, if you cannot do that, you can see Miranda is doing some pelvic tilts where she sucks her belly button in, tries to push her low back into the ground. Make sure you breathe.
round one is complete. Now we get to do everything two more times, starting off with those one leg hip lifts. Make sure you really dig that foot into your chair or your step, or even if you're using the ground, and lift that butt as high as you can.
butt's not sore from Wednesday. It is from today. It's sore from today. <laughs> Thank you for working out with us. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, comment below, and join us for the next workout.